Now we wanted to talk about Uzi. So Uzi is basically a workflow and a scheduler system to manage Hadoop jobs. Okay, workflow jobs are directed a cyclic graph of actions. Okay, Uzi also provides something like coordinator job, which keep on running jobs due to various triggers. Say, at a particular time, you want to keep running the job every day. Okay, or you want to run a job whenever a file appears in a folder. Okay, that kind of things can be done using Uzi, a component of Uzi called coordinator, or or it's called Uzi scheduler can do all of that. It's well integrated with the rest of the Hadoop stack and is very scalable, reliable, and extensible system. Okay, the workflow of Uzi looks like this. So a workflow of Uzi is defined in the form of directed acyclic graph. The graph with no cycles, almost all task executions are directed acyclic graphs. Other examples of directed acyclic graph is any project plan and could be ant script. Okay, so let me take a digression a bit. So almost uh, in, in case of computing, lot of things are directed acyclic graph. As I gave you an example earlier that uh, getting ready for office is itself made up of many tasks. Those tasks form a directed acyclic graph. As in wearing a shirt, getting ready for office depends on wearing clothes. Wearing clothes depends on wearing shirt and wearing uh, and wearing shorts, uh, say wearing shorts and, and so on. And uh, wearing tie. And uh, basically here also say going to the party depends on wearing uh, trouser and this. So, so they, it could be any any work which you think of can be expressed as a dependency list of things. Okay. The important part is that when we normally do things, there cannot be a circular dependency. Okay. Circular dependency, as in to wear the shirt, I need to wear the trouser. To wear the trouser, I need to wear shirt. Okay, that cannot be uh, that cannot be the case. Otherwise, you will never get ready for the office. Okay, uh, all right. So, so in most of these uh, tasks or get to get any workflow, the tasks are expressed as directed acyclic graph. They are directed as in five depends on eleven depends on nine, as in this example. And a cyclic, as in there are no cycles. Okay, there are no cycles anywhere. The other example of directed cyclic graph is any project plan or ant script, make script, or maven script. Okay, it's of a very big significance in the computing industry. Or sometimes when you order things in directed cyclic graph, saying we want a list of things. In a order in which they should be done, the one which has to be done first should be at the top, and the done the thing which has to be done last should be at the bottom. Okay, if you want such kind of a list, we call it the output should be topologically sorted. Okay, so those are many algorithms available on DAG. So given a DAG, you can do a topological sorting, and you can find a path from one place to another. All right, great. Now, where does Uzi fit in? So, so basically, here I described what is DAG, and we have to create such kind of a DAG of various tasks for Uzi. Okay, coming back to it, where does Uzi fit in? Let's talk about recommendation engine. So, in recommendation engine, what I did was I basically used Mahoth to generate recommendations but that was not the that was not the main task because generating actual recommendations is actually pretty simple all you have to do is execute mahoth command line and happily it will do the job for us okay the bigger tasks were 
related to data cleaning and data moving okay so our most of the pipeline was like this okay so some of data was being loaded using flume then pig was cleaning it and after clean data we were loading some data using hype so our main objective was to generate recommendations okay so Mahath was doing the recommendation generation work and whatever other recommendations it will push the data to say HDFS so it will push the data to HDFS okay and from HDFS that data will be picked I'm just putting HDFS here and data will be picked from HDFS by by say scoop and scoop will scoop will take it to the web server okay scoop will take it to the web server now sounds interesting and easy so Mahath will generate the recommendation and uh, the recommendations will go into HDFS from HDFS scoop will take to web server but for Mahath we need clean data clean data could come from say pig okay pig again instead of directly pig will basically write to HDFS okay let me just try to use this part okay so pig will write to HDFS from HDFS Mahath will pick okay similarly the data here uh, so similar is the case with flume okay and all right I think this is good so on web server is generating logs and flume is picking those logs and pushing those logs into HDFS from HDFS we cleaned the data using pig and using pig we again written the data in the form of product ID user ID comma product ID comma rating okay and that data was given the three column data was given to Mahath Mahath generated recommendations and recommendations were further pushed to the web server via scoop okay so you can see that this uh, whole pipeline so you can see that there are many things that need to be done and there is a sequence that we should not run a scoop unless Mahath has finished we should not run Mahath unless pig has finished and we should not run pig we, we, we should run pig say every day okay we should run all of this process every day from all of this process from here to here okay should be done run every day so this has to be executed executed daily okay while this work from uh, f from flume is happening every second this is having running every second so what you see here is what you see here is that that there are many tasks that need to be performed in order to generate the recommendations and this is where this is where the this is where the this is where just a second all right so there are many things that need to be done in a typical typical project and this is where Uzi fits in all right now how do we define individual task okay so um, full workflow will be composed of various pig 
Hive, MapReduce, and so on. It look like this. It look little more horrible than you would expect. So you see, we define a workflow node, and then inside that there is a start to action name. Then inside that action description, we have MapReduce here. MapReduce says that this is the node of job tracker name node and so on okay then we have the other parts okay so we have uh, basically we can describe uh, individual task like this so this xml actually says that this workflow has got a starting point that is starting point is map reduce and the uh, error is goes to kill on success it goes to end okay so inside uh, Uzi, you can actually have fork, as in output of first should go to second and third, and second and third can be joined further. Okay. Similar thing can be can be done in our case where let's say some part is being cleaned by pig, some part is being cleaned by hive, and we join the data together at some point and uh, generate the recommendation. Okay, so to run an example, open the console, copy this particular Uzi examples to your home folder, and then extract it. And once you have extracted, you copy this examples folder to HDFS. Okay, locally only you need you need job dot properties. That's it. On the local disk, you need only job dot properties. Rest of the things you have to keep in the examples folder. Okay. And then you can simply run something of this sort. You could say UG job and you have to provide the UG server's IP address and the port and the and then the URL. And the config is taken from the local folder. This config says that where is the name node, where is the data node, and then we can run it. Okay. So if we, I have to run my example, we could simply run like this. Okay. So it's running my job. Okay, now what is the job I'm trying to run? Okay, let me first start from the jobs properties file. All right, I'll show you. Okay, just give me a second. happening all right so I'm saying this one okay so this is the property file it tells that hey where is the name node where is the job tracker all the variables being used in the in the workflow and what is it that we want to run as a workflow this is the xml file containing the complete workflow okay let's you can take a look at this particular file inside app slash map reduce okay in my home folder so you you can also download it by yourself you can basically this uzi examples are already there also in the data folder you have all of these Okay, and where is the Reco stamp? All right. Okay. Examples root. Where is the example root? Examples folder. Okay. Okay, so in so this is a typical structure of your Hadoop project. If you have like many components in your project, some pig script, some hive script, some uh, some map reduce and everything. So this this is a good example. So at the top level, you can have job properties, and then you have input data folder, and then you have source folder. Okay, source folder contains your Java code. Okay, source folder contains the, here are the Java MapReduce examples. 
okay and uh, in examples there is apps folder which contains your individual scripts okay say for example hive script you see there is a hive script and there is a xml for hive script workflow for each one and you can see individual workflow given giving the details about what to run you can see that for preparing it's deleting a folder and making a directory and then in passing the parameters here and script.q is being executed using hive okay so here we are telling that here is my hive workflow okay hive workflow here's the job tracker name node and this is before running my hive script please execute these two commands one is for deleting one path and other is for creating a folder and uh, next is that these are the configuration we are passing to the hive uh, command and then these are the parameters okay so and we can run the same thing all right and what does script.q contains script.q is nothing but it creates external table and then insert some data from this folder the, into this okay so that's pretty much all right so similarly for every component you have one one example here so if you have more than one uh, one scenario you can basically have more of these examples and what we are trying to run as an entry point okay what we are trying to run as an entry point we are running the job dot properties and what does that contains this particular workflow we are trying to run only map reduce workflow okay you could run multiple workflows that's pretty straightforward okay so here is the map reduce workflow it says that the output data goes here in the output folder and and so on okay so we can run a job like that all right so it's trying to schedule a job it's trying to contact you uh, uzi all right so one more thing i wanted to show you as part of uzi the hue comes with a very beautiful editor for uzi okay hue comes with a very good ui for uzi so you can see that there is something called job designer okay the job designer is a very marvelous piece okay so you could say all right let me try to create okay so workflows all right okay so if in the workflows menu you see the editors and the workflows okay now here you can create a new workflow okay so that's the beauty of hue that you can basically drag and drop and create a workflow okay you could say that um, let's say you are to run okay you are to run some map reduce program okay you can just gives your jar name okay this is your map reduce job you can basically create the map reduce and locate it in hdfs and then give the properties and all the information that you require and then you can uh, before that you can say things like first clean my data using hive here if you have you you have to upload it into upload your script okay okay so you can have uh, the the config file for xml or 
you might have config file you might have a pig script you might have a pig script so you can say this is my pig script so basically what we are i'm trying to show you is that it, you can graphically graphically order things so first pig will be executed then the map and so on let's say after pig script you wanted to run one map reduce as well, or let us say you wanted to run some work in hive okay so you wanted to run so there is some hive script my hive script dot sql this is my hive script and this is my pig script okay uh, and you wanted to run these in parallel and then you combine them once both of these finish then you want to run your map reduce or maybe you run you want to run your some other java program okay or maybe a maybe a, another workflow you want to call okay some ssh command hdfs command or you want to send an email once everything is done you want to send an email okay say send send an email to sandeep and say success okay sounds good so you can create a workflow like this and then once it's done you can schedule it using the coordinator okay so this is my workflow which i've created and you basic and here i have given another example where i'm trying to call scoop and then using my produce job and then using all of this okay so using hi using uzi editor you can create these complete workflows using ui all right now that was uzi and similarly here also the same thing what you were doing you were using ui you could do using the xml as well okay so that that were uzi so you can read more about uzi at this place all right all right so that's pretty much related to today's discussion now the assignment to all of you is import data from mysql to hive and back build an uzi job for the fourth problem of uh, first uh, session a uh, second session and third is prepare your own movie recommendations okay so these assignments you have to submit all right